And what President Trump said to me is he said, last time in 2016, I came into office and I had no idea how to govern. And I was immediately surrounded the day after the election with all these big corporate people and corporate lobbyists. And they said, appoint this guy, appoint that guy. And he said, I did it. And they were a bunch of bad people. That was, you know how he says bad people. Yes. Well, that's what he said, people like John Bolton and to head NSA and all of these other people, corporate lobbyists who came in and ran our agencies, which I was a huge critic of. And he said, I'm not doing that this time. I care about my legacy. I want to, I want to leave a country that's healthier. This is an existential threat to the American people. When I was a kid, my uncle was president. 6% of Americans had chronic disease. Today, it's 60%. When my uncle was president, I was a 10-year-old boy. We spend zero on chronic disease in this country. Today, we spend $4.3 trillion. It's existential. 77% of American boys cannot qualify for the military because of a chronic disease diagnosis. When I was a kid, the average pediatrician saw one case of diabetes in his lifetime. Today, one out of every three kids who walks through his office door is diabetic or pre-diabetic. When I was a boy, and today in my generation, 70-year-old men, one in 10,000 of us has autism. Our children, my children, one in 34. In California, one in 22. This is an existential threat to our country. And he said, I want to end it, and I want to leave as my legacy to the American people. The end of the chronic disease epidemic and make us, again, like, I, like when I was a boy, the healthiest nation in the world. I have a, I have a question. Go ahead. Right. I'm confused about the detente with you and Trump. I'm confused. Um, befuddled. My wife is very confused about it. <laughs> When people say Trump doesn't care about health, as we just heard a question posed, I say, well, he got Operation uh, Warp Speed up faster than any human being could have gotten it up, and everybody got vaxxed. You don't like the vax. So how does that work? Trump got the vax, government mandated the vax, you don't like the vax. How did you bridge that gulf? Well, one of the things that President Trump said to me when I began my meetings, I said, there's a lot of things that I don't agree with you on. And he said, I don't care about that. He said, we agree on the key things. And the three things that we agreed on was one, ending the addiction to foreign wars. Number two, ending the surveillance and censorship and protecting the Constitution and the Bill of Rights. And number three, ending the chronic disease epidemic. And he said, you can go ahead and criticize me, and I'm going to criticize you. He criticized me the other day, publicly, again and again. And that's why my, he's ahead in the and, polls. And I, you know that. Right. <laughs> and I think that's a great thing. He wants a big tent. Hey, thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your screen. And don't forget, click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.